Hello, the purpose of this session is to give you an overview of the eight steps of practical problem solving, as visually shown on the practical problem solving teach poster and shown in the background here. The top purpose section of the teach poster has already been covered in skill level one course, so we'll jump straight into the eight steps. Step one is problem clarification. The goal here is to clarify the problem you are trying to solve in simple numeric terms. The radar icon represents the first step, which is to identify the problems we may have. But how do we do that? Well, there are many ways to identify problems. We could find them by observing the work and identifying the eight ways, which we'll explain later on in this course, or through our business KPIs and metrics, where we're missing our targets, or through direct customer feedback. So think about what problems are on your radar and how can you do the work better, faster, cheaper. Once we've selected a problem, we then need to ask how does this fit in with our business goals and priorities? This starts off with clarifying the ultimate goal. This is where we want to be in three to five years, i.e. the long term. An example could be to improve our customer service lead time. Maybe we need to improve it to five minutes to give the organisation a greater competitive advantage against the competition. So next then is to clarify the ideal situation. This is the immediate goal, or i.e. where we need to be next. So in our customer service example, the next goal could be to be uh, within 20 minutes. After this then, we must clarify the current situation or today's result. So in our customer service example today, we could be servicing our customers within 30 minutes. Only when we clarify the gap or the problem we're trying to solve, i.e. the difference between where you want to be or expect to be and where you actually are. So in our example of customer service lead time, the ideal situation is 20 minutes. The current situation is 30 minutes, giving us a gap or a problem to solve of 10 minutes. There are two types of gap that exist though. One is called a cause gap. This is something that's gone away from standard and we need to get back to standard. And the second gap is what we call a created gap, which is by aiming to achieve a higher standard for an improvement target or for a business goal. The gap is then defined in a problem statement. As the gap needs to be clear and concise and only state the problem itself, not an action to do something about it. But remember these points about step one. Without a clear gap, a problem might just be a perception or opinion. Clarity of the problem creates alignment, gives a common direction and stops us going the wrong way. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest lean content.